Hello everyone, and welcome back to XCOM. Right now we are about to do this uh, retaliation attack. For, they're attacking us. They're attacking us back. Because we've been going around messing things up, blowing stuff up, stealing. You know, like, like that one wrestler who's like, I lie, I cheat, I steal. That's what we're doing. We're blowing them up. Um... <laughs> Should we bring around him? I guess we should. Um, let's bring a recruit with us. Um, actually, let's bring a Mayday around. Because he'll have the magnetic gun. Because currently the magnetic gun is the only one we have researched. Which is, eh, tier. It's, it's, it works for the standard soldier. But it's not really for any of our specialists, you know. Besides the, uh, specialist, specialist, who actually, uh, does that as, uses that weapon primarily. Alright, let's go in, let's do it. Hopefully we can get some money off of this mission. Because we could use some more to build upgrades. Rescue at least six civilians. Got it. Let's do it. Let's let's launch this mission. We gotta do it. We're gonna do it well. Cause this is how we do things. We do them well. I'm just fi what? Wally, are you in the rock? Are they in the rock? I hope they're not in the rock. All right, no concealed deployment. Where am I gonna put you? Um, I could put you up here, and you'd have some good ground, but you'd be too far for long-term maneuvers. So for now, I'm gonna put you here, and you're gonna alert, oh, it's mutons, they're back. And you're kind of outflanked, great. But whatever, shoot, shoot your pistol bullets. Shoot him. Bam. Bam. Slam. Thank you, ma'am. You do seven damage with that. Which I wish you did more, but whatever. What's your uh, slash damage? What do you do? Three to five? Um. How about you? How's your slashing? Not as good as one would hope. All right, I'm going to have to make some moves here. What moves am I going to make? That's what I'm trying to figure out here. I have a lot of choices to make. He'd be too outflanked if I moved there. So let's move you here. You're 46% likely to hit him. Now let's throw a grenade on him. Grenade took away his armor and took away his cover, which is good. You have a 64% chance to hit. So I'm going to move you up one. So that way your chance to hit is slightly better, hopefully. And you're going to take your shot. And it's a crit. And everything is hunky-dory. And by hunky-dory, I mean pretty good. I don't know where I picked up that saying. I really don't. Alright, Mayday. Shoot at him. Actually... Yeah, shoot at him. I want a guaranteed kill. And I'm not gonna waste a turn... on a... like, a percentage chance one. Yeah! I'm gonna move you here. And realize you're really bunched up and that's bad. And put you on overwatch. When he tries to run. Which I hope is what he does. And there's enemies in the background killing civilians. Because of the risk of the faceless enemies. You know the ones that masquerade as civilians. 
I'm going to try to avoid saving any civilians until after we've killed off all the enemy. So that way any faceless in the area will reveal themselves. Oh, that was a lucky miss. Okay, he's in there. Let's send our rookie up there to try and melee him to death. It's an 88% chance. And it hits. Alright, let's get a move on. I'm moving you pretty far, but you should stay alive at the least. You probably won't die this turn, anyways. I'll move you up on the right. We don't want to move too far into which we're spread out and we're primed for an ambush, but we need to make some distance to help the civilians. It's all about finding the happy in-between of those two desires. That's what maneuvering is. That's my philosophy of maneuvering. So keep that in mind when you can when you criticize my strategy. All right, it sounds like there isn't actually too many of them. At least that we've noticed yet. So I reckon we've got So my guess is one muton, two advent soldiers. That's the remaining enemy forces. As of right now, Everyone, make your bets. Was I right? Go into Overwatch there, because you never know when they might jump out. Go over there. Thought I just heard a sound cue. But no, it's just in my head. You! Go up there, I guess. I was hoping I could get her into the cover, but if not, a uh, exposed, exposed place should hopefully be okay and won't instantly kill them. Alright, Mayday is in the rear. Right. Oh. Oh. Bang, 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 bang. Six damage. That's good damage. Good job, kiddo. You got Mark's seal of approval. Is it clear? Which is, um, not physical. It's just verbal. You know what I mean when I say that, right? It means, uh, I don't remember what I was talking about. That's what it means. Okay, Mayday, you may be in a bit of trouble here. Like, you may be in a, a wee bit of trouble. Okay, so I may have underestimated the amount of enemies present in the area. The question is, of course, what do I do about this unknown threat? Well, under... Hey, he got a promotion. Under guest threat, or whatever you want to. Whatever you want to call it. Thank God that missed, otherwise he would have been big trouble. I'm going to have to move him back next turn, because that's a dangerous place to be. I'm fine with that, because I was just going to blow up that fuel tank next turn. Central, I'm working on it. Did that hit? I guess it didn't. Okay, that one hit, though. But he seems okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, where's he? Uh-oh. I don't like this. Uh, Mark does not approve. Stranger, danger. Oh no, he's pointing at Mayday. Mayday, do you get your name from having really bad things happen to you? Because if so, I think it'd be appropriate. Oh! Is she dead? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. I thought she died right there. In that explosion. You know, like the guy who died on the bus. But I guess not. Okay, that's one down. Target down. Preparing for the next. And we'll shoot the rocket right there. 
So that way it does damage to all of them. But doesn't quite kill them. Unfortunately. Mayday. You're gonna have to, uh... You're gonna... Can I, can I move you, Mayday? Yeah, we're gonna have to get you out of there. This position will not do. Um, the question is, of course, where am I going to move you? Well, I'm gonna have everyone else do their moves first. And... Um, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I think the question is... What won't I do? For love. I don't know. I'm just trying... I'm just spitballing here. Just, just freaking, just, just move. Just move. If we put all of our pressure on the faceless, he should die within this turn. Turn. Just put the pressure on him. Put the pressure on him. Viking, what's your chance? Uh, okay, so he has five health left. You will do five to seven damage. Just enough to put him in the grave. Assuming you hit. Which, please, God, hit. Good job. Good job, kid. Oh, come on, come on. Work with me here. Okay, I'm hesitant to pull up quite that far. Who can I still move? You're the only person I can still move. Where am I going to move you, kid? I'm going to move you here. What's your chance to hit on these guys? 74%? 40%? Take that shot on 74. And it pays off. Now I believe that these are the only... T There's only three of them left. We're doing fairly good. Things are okay. As of this moment. Things are still okay. We're not in big trouble yet. Oh, and she gets the return fire perk that I chose for her. It misses, but whatever. Don't make me throw a grenade in there. Okay, poison. Not ideal. Oh, that's without class. Really? We're right now in, in the middle of a gentleman's... A gentleman's fight? And you're gonna run off to kill civilians? D does does our does our friendship does our rivalry mean so little to you? You're not bleeding. You're poisoned. There's a difference. Let, let me pick the sniper. Seventy-nine percent chance. Take it. Bam. He's dead. He's dead, Jim. Oh, sounds like there's a promotion. Do you have a grenade you can use? Yeah? Boom him. Throw a grenade there. Blow him up. And it's all hunky. It's all great. It's good as gravy. And it was. They all blew up. Can you melee attack that guy? How about if you go into Moveride? Overdrive. Alright, now go and punch him. Go and, go and punch him. 93% chance of doing it right. Go and do it, Wally. Show him you mean business. You mean bidness. Bam! He got him with that iron right. Oh, we got another faceless out back. And by outback, I mean far past friendly lines. And since he's emerging right now, I think it's safe to assume that we've killed all of the other enemy units. Because that is usually why they show up late into the mission. Or at least that's how I think it works. I could be wrong about that. As I often am. Shoot him! You got 76% chance. Good job. Yorge. Yorge. George, I don't know how to. S it's a weird. It's Orge. I don't know how to. Could someone like make a Vukero file for that, showing me how to uh, pronounce it, and leave it in the description? 
and don't give me malware, I'd really appreciate it. Because I don't understand how to pronounce that. Jack, please. Jack, please. You're okay. Kill him, Yorde. Go George. I'm gonna call you George now, because I've been, probably been pronouncing it wrong, and everyone's gonna start a lynch mob. Good! Two wounded, no dead. We are doing very good. Like, it all... its It's got me suspicious how good we're doing. I think we're doing too good. Or maybe this game's normal is a lot easier than the other game's normal. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Maybe I learned things from the last XCOM game. I'm not sure. Stone Corpse. That's a good name. I like that name. That could be the name for like um a rock, like a grunge band. You know, like a Stone Sour. It could be like a like a tribute band for them. Except they're a lot more dark and brooding about their songs. Hence the name Stone Corpse. Or they could be like Stone Core, and they're like just a thousand people all doing it. Alright, we got promotions. Bennett, you're a lieutenant now. Woo! I'm gonna give you a run and gun. That sounds better to me. Robertson! Let's go with lightning hands. Wait a minute, let me check first. It's a free... I'm going to go with Lightning Hands because it's a free shot on an enemy. And I'm going to give you a Blade Master because you know I love those blades. Blades are really good. I love those melee attacks. They're great. They're gorgeous. They're the best. Okay, they're happy about us so they're giving us more free stuff. Stockade for an engineer. Please, just let me just make contact, then I'll go do it, okay? Can you guys give me, like, five... Can you give me, like, three minutes? Three minutes to do this stuff? Like, five days? Ugh, let me do my things, please. Okay, the power relay is up. That's good. Um, we can put a gremlin in here. There's a gremlin in there. We have more power now. Okay, we we unlocked it. We can build a shadow chamber. That that sounds expensive. Let's finish up psionics. Let, let me finish, please. Okay, here we are. We're in India. What's up, dude? You should step up your fashion game. Go to slash FA. Slash fashion. Okay. Okay. Let's go get that engineer that they mentioned. Gotta get that engineer. He's gotta be able to build sick turrets. And we need to support him so that way a spy doesn't sap them. That's a TF2 reference in case you didn't know. Like, that's not a real game mechanic. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please, have mercy. Okay. We're gonna have to deal with, uh... Oh, it's all the way over there. I should have gone across rather than over. Um, let's finish this up. Let's get this engineer. Okay, we can make a psionics lab now. We can get psi optic psi operatives. They're pretty good. And when I say pretty good, I mean really good. Personally substantiated claims that the massive frontline unit they call the Muton was actually at one time even larger than the specimen I have before me today. As it is, the creature is abnormally warm to the touch for a corpse. And I must say, it is quite disconcerting. He's got those really good insulating shirts that they sell for the winter. He's got Under Armour. Shit! 
hunting for our position. We need to be careful about where we pick our flight paths. Oh no. Oh no. Aliens are after us. Oh no. What am I going to do now? I'm going to have to make contact with them. Right now, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, how much do we have in the ways of intel? 38. In two days, there's going to be a supply drop. drop. And we're going to get supplies. But for right now, what am I going to do, Mark? What am I going to do? We're going to clear out this bit here. We're going to have one of the gremlins do it. And then have a have one of the... Uh, uh, what are they called? Engineers do it, and we're gonna excavate it. And before you know it, we're gonna have a really sick stuff going on in there. And what are we gonna do in here? We could have Baker do something. I don't know. I don't have much money right now in game. Let's um, uh, let's go to the Avenger power thing, I guess. Let's do some of it now and some of it later. And let's get a few days off of it. Okay. Cool, thanks. Okay, they're building a new frickin'... Okay, let's go to the supply drop. Yes. They're going to build a new, uh alien facility soon that we're going to have to deal with. Which is something I am not looking forward to. Okay, let's pick up some of these supplies. Sure Alright, we finished the autopsy. We got an advanced grenade launcher and plasma grenade. Nice. Nice. Let's do, let's do this thing. Developed by Advent seem to be wholly autonomous, capable of targeting and engaging selected units without reliance on external verification. Although it falls on me to work through the initial disassembly, I fully intend on involving Shen in this process, as her knowledge of robotics far outweighs my own. Cool. There's an XCOM hunt going on right now, so we gotta be kinda careful. Okay, there we are. Now I gotta make a, uh... Okay, I gotta make some choices on what I want to do next. We have money. So I think next is gonna be satellite uplinks. I know, I know, I know. Please, give me a chance. Um, we're gonna have someone clean this up. Excavate that, please. And I'll be done in 30 days. Ooh. 30 days and 30 nights. I don't know. That, is that, is that the whole, like, uh, is that the Jewish story that I remember that from? The story of Hanukkah? They want 30 days? No, no. I don't know what I'm thinking of that's 30 days and 30 nights. It's something that I am vaguely aware of. But I don't know what it is. Okay, let's build a uh, radio here. Like, we might as well do it. Let's build it. Oh, no. Oh, no, they're so far away. I need to build a satellite uplink soon. Look at this ramshackle piece of shit. Welcome to the fight. Alright, cool. We got that. We got some supplies for building it. Where we increase the supplies that we get from this region now. We might as well go back to Resistance Headquarters. Let's go to Headquarters and stay there until we've cleared out the machinery and stuff. Oh no!
Oh no! Oh no! 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 Leave us alone! Go away, please! Oh no! Oh no! Please, Central, save us! Was the Star Trek? She. Someone get me a damage report. We've got a problem. We've got lots of problems. They've just dropped some sort of spike outside. Generating the same type of pulse that knocked us out of the sky. They don't want us. They want the ship. Isn't there some way you can override it? Not from here. I can't get our engines online while it's out there. Commander, we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Destroying that spike is our only chance of getting out of here. We can't let the aliens take this ship. I think I have a lot of soldiers, so this should be okay. This is really bad. Like, if we lose this, we could end the game. But you know what? I'm gonna make another cliffhanger here. Because otherwise, it'd be a really long, ep really long video. And I'll say, I'll see you guys next time on XCOM 2. Bye!